Hi friends, welcome to Science in a Bank. This week we're going to talk about potential energy changing to kinetic energy. Energy, it's what we need to do work. I'm Miss Regina coming to you from the Ashland Public Library in Ashland, Ohio. I hope you were able to pick up your science bag from the desk at the library. If you didn't, you might have a lot of this at home that you could do by yourself. So let's unpack our bag and see what we have. We're going to talk about potential energy. That means energy that's stored, stored energy, versus movement energy. Well, let's dump the bag and see what we have. We have some craft sticks. You'll need about 10. You could use more, you could use less, but um, 10's a great number to have. You'll also need rubber bands. Now, I, I packed 10 rubber bands for everybody, but you, I, the only, I don't think we'll need all of these rubber bands, but you know what? They do break. So, I packed extra. We also, I put in a spoon, a plastic spoon. It can, doesn't have to be clear, it can be any color, but a, a spoon. And then I also put in a couple pom-poms. If you don't have pom-poms, you could use uh, cotton balls. You can even use those small marshmallows. They would work too. So maybe you'll come up with a way to put a marshmallow into a cup of hot chocolate. Ooh, that might be a fun way to do. But what we're going to make today is a catapult. Now, catapults have been around for a long time. Um, they used to use them in ancient Greece. They used them in um, medieval times. Catapults would take a heavy object, and it allows you to push the object a lot farther than what you can throw. So what they would do is they would build a catapult, they would load a heavy object, and they would throw it at the fortifications, whether it was a fort or a castle or just a building that they wanted to tear down or a wall. A lot of times, walls were built around um, individual castles. So they would bar barrage these um, castles or these their enemies' fort with these catapults, with heavy objects. Now, they could put, as I said, big stones on them. Sometimes they would actually hurl burning um, objects so that they would burn down a castle if it was made of wood or a fort if it was made of wood. So it just depended upon what they were going against and what they wanted to do, how much they wanted to destroy what they were going after. So we're going to build a catapult. Now, we're going to talk, we'll talk about the science behind this as soon as we finish building it. So let's build our catapult first. The first thing we're going to do, it says, make, take seven craft sticks. Two, four, five, six, seven. Seven craft sticks and fasten them together on both ends. So I'm going to stack them up here and I'm going to put a one on top, one on bottom, and I'm going to take my rubber band and just wrap it around till it gets nice and taut. And then I'm going to do both ends. Then I'm going to take two of the other craft sticks, and I'm going to put those together, but I'm only going to put them together at one end. So I'm going to tighten down one end. Now I want to take then, I'm going to open this crap, these two up, and there's a little bit of room there. I'm going to stick those nicely stacked craft sticks in between right there. Now I have to take my spoon, and I'm going to put the spoon on the craft stick. You know what, I think I better leave this off until I get spoon on the craft stick. So let's see here. I'm, I think you'll need about two rubber bands to really get this nice and tight on here. You don't want the, the spoon flying off. So you might even have to ask an adult to help you. 
but let's try and wrap these two around it, okay? All right, I think I'm getting pretty tight here. Yeah, that, that's not gonna fall off. That, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna stick those other ones back in there. All right, now this is my catapult. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my catapult and I'm gonna use a target. Now, if you don't have a target, you can make one. You can take your bag, you can draw a circle, you can make it. Or I have a couple things here that I thought would make good targets. First of all, you can print a target if you want to, or just take a nice object and make a circle. And that's what I'm gonna aim for. I'm gonna try and get it to the target. All right. Or I could use maybe a bowl. Or I found another, just a little muffin tin that I'm going to aim for. So you could use anything for a target. You might have a special target you could make at home. So I'm going to put the catapult down. And I'm going to take my pom-pom, put it on the spoon part of the catapult. And I'm going to hold the catapult at the bottom. It says, it says, holding the catapult bottom with one hand, use the other hand to push down the spoon and then release it. Okay, I'm going to push it down. Now, there's a bunch of energy here. And I'm going to release it and aim for the target. Oh, I didn't quite make it, did I? Here's my pom-pom. Um, there's my target. So, I either have to put more energy so it can push it further, farther, or I could actually change the angle. In, in um, catapults, it's a lot to do with the angle. Now, this is an acute angle right here. These two make an acute angle. I can make that angle, the higher the angle, then it also puts a lot more energy into it, okay? But the higher the angle, it should go a little bit further. The lower the angle, it really won't go very far. I'm going to put one craft stick here. And you'll see that it really just, there's no energy to go anywhere. It just, it just kind of doesn't go anywhere. So you could either take and maybe put another craft stick or two here. Or you could just try to make this angle a little bit wider. The closer you get to the base, the the wider the angle. It's still an acute angle. It means, it means it's a less than 90 degrees. So we're going to hold the bottom down here. I've added another craft stick and I pushed it just a little bit further to see if I can make it to my target. So I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to, whoops, oh my goodness, I put too much pressure in it. It went right up and off the table. Well, I happen to have another one right here. I'm going to try it and not put quite so much pressure has a lot to do with how much pressure. You, ooh, that wasn't enough at all. So there is a happy medium here. Oh, not quite enough yet. All right. I need to adjust it just a little bit more. Oh, it's getting further. OK, I'm getting closer. I actually touched the target. It rolled off, but oh, my. So maybe if I put this bowl here, let's see what that does does. If I could get it in the bowl, I might be able to. Oops, not enough energy. So I have to pull it back a little bit further. Oh, it was so close. So close. One more time. Oh, uh, no. I need to I need to do a couple more experiments here. It asks, if it goes too high, then I must be pushing downward too far. Okay, so let me try that. I've, it's going pretty high. I want it to go high enough, but I need it to get into the... Nope, that's way too high. Let's go back to our seven. I think I can adjust it enough that I can get that right in there with this... Whoops, seven. Okay, let me hold this down, because that, that, you need to have that resistance there. Not quite. It's going really, really high. So 
I need to maybe pull this back here just a little. Nope, not enough. Oh, almost, almost, almost. I need to do some adjustments, and so will you as you do it. So what's happening? What's the science here? Well, two things make the catapult. Um, the first is the transforming of energy. When I pull back on this spoon, it bends the craft stick and it creates potential or stored energy. Okay, I mean, I can feel it here. As I pull back and push down, I can feel it. It just doesn't want to stay there. So that's called potential energy. Then as I let it go, that changes it and it becomes a projectile. And that changes the force, the force that I'm putting there. This craft stick wants to go back flat just as it is now at rest. See, it's at rest. It doesn't want to stay down here. Okay, maybe if I hold it this way. Oh, it's a little bit too high. Um, when you go, when you let go of the craft stick, it changes that potential energy into energy and motion, and that's what you're seeing. That energy is what creates the, the whole force to launch it. So, there's a lot to this. There's mathematics in the angle that you do it at. And you might want to try it just with three craft sticks or five and then seven. See if there's a difference as you hold it. And it might be a difference in the load. These are pretty light. I wonder if I put a heavier object in there, what it would happen. I don't know, maybe something like an eraser or something that would be softer but did not hurt anyone. You don't want anything pointy. But that might be able to create, change that energy to move it a little bit further. And it wouldn't go up as high because it's heavier. So there's a lot of mathematics to catapults. Right now, they still use catapults today. Um, the one that I can think of is auto-military aircraft carrier. They use a catapult to launch those planes because their runway is not long enough for them to have enough movement and enough energy to, for liftoff. You have, to a lot, you have to have thrust, a lot of thrust over the air underneath to have you lift off. So they use a catapult to give them more energy. And when those catapults are released, they just rocket right off of the um, aircraft carrier. So I hope you're going to try a lot of different experiments with your catapult. It would be great if you could post, take a picture of your catapult or post a little short video of it to our Facebook page. I'd love to see it, see how they work. I hope you'll come back next month and again we'll do another Science in the Bag. We'll have to see what we put in the bag next time.